Here's the monthly market update for April 2022. Hi, I'm Thomas Roscoe, and I am a local Silicon Valley agent here in San Jose and the surrounding areas. And I help people like you buy, sell, and relocate. So if you're thinking about making a move or selling your home this year, definitely you want to stay tuned for these updates to know when is the right time to do so. So let's go ahead and get straight into the market update. And this is for single family homes in San Jose. So the median price is at 1.75 million with 521 homes sold, seven days on market average and 116 sales to list price. So for this month, that's meaning for April, we closed 521 homes last month in March, we closed 502 homes. So you can see there's a little bit of increase in activity there. But a year ago, there was a lot more activity. That's because there was a lot more homes on the market. There was more inventory. So 682. The medium sales price, 1.75 million. And it's about the same last month, but look at this from last year, 1.4 million. Let's say you bought a home at 1.4 million last year. Now it's worth 1.75. No, 350,000 in equity gained in one year. That's insane. And then also days on market, seven all across the board. And that, I'll talk about that a little bit later, um, but it's very short. Uh, new listings, 678 homes went on market. Last month, 681, and then 737. So you can see there's a bit more inventory at the time last year. Average list to sell price, 116%, 118% last month, and then 111%. Because there is more supply, there's less demand. And so they're not selling as high as this month here and this month here. There's less supply, so higher demand. Average sales price per square foot, last year was 871, and then it jumped up to 1,060 per square foot. So as you can see, the, your home is worth definitely a lot more now. And let's look at the chart down here. It's the average days on market, and it goes back 25 months, back to April 2020. So this is the beginning of the pandemic here. And you can see that this is the shutdown, and then it was getting really difficult and tricky to start selling homes. We couldn't sell homes that were occupied, or we couldn't show homes that were occupied, only vacant ones. And then we were able to figure out around summertime to start showing the occupied homes. And then as you can see, after things have evolved and adjusted, we're able to get back on track by the next following spring. In February 2021, that's just when the craze took off. And now you can see a seven days on market all across the board here, except for about during the holidays. It starts to slow down around that time normally. And you can see why it's normally around seven, seven days on market here is because agents set an offer due date the week after the listing. So it builds up that buzz. And then what it does is in hopes to get multiple offers, a bidding war started. So it's a little bit skewed. And so we'll also go over the sale over list price. As you can see, this is the 100%. That means it's the full list price right here. And it's just been selling above that ever since the pandemic hit. And you can see it's gone up to almost 120% back in March, which was uh, 118 right here. And it's starting to dip down a little bit. Interest rates have been going up. And so that's relieving some of the pressure off of the demand. And they are going to be raising up interest rates um, a couple more times in the very new, near future. So we could see it starting to plateau a little bit more if you're looking at the trends right here. And with interest rates going up, the demand will start to go down a little bit. And to help us understand this a little bit more, we have the months of inventory. This is also the absorption rate. So you take this number right here, the new listings, and divide that by the closed sales. And that's how you get the 0.6 months left of inventory. So if it continues at this rate with no new listings coming on, everything would sell in half a month. Right here in December, it was at 2.2 months, the lowest in recorded history. A seller's market is zero to four months and four to six months is a normal market and six months plus is a buyer's market. So in zero to four in the seller's market, prices are 
in an upwards trend. And then in the buyer's market, it's plateaued and it stays about the same. And again, in the buyer's market, prices are going down. You have more leverage for buyers. But right now, we're not even close to that. As you can see, here's, here's the top of the bar here is one month. So it's still extremely low. Now, is this a good time to buy or sell? I would say, yes, it is because it absolutely is an incredible time to sell. You don't have a lot of competition out there. Inventory is really low. So it is an extremely hot market to take advantage of right now. If you are interested this year, please let me know. And I can show you what I do to get homes sold for the top dollar. And if you're thinking about buying this year, right now is a great time to buy before the interest rates go up. They are going to be raising a couple more times this year that the Fed's announced. You can take advantage of their appreciation. As you can see last year, 1.4 million jumped up to 1.75 million. Not to say that it will have the same appreciation amount. The spring of last year was a crazy time for appreciation. This is when a lot of the homes gained their appreciation. And then again, the beginning of this spring as well. If you're going to be holding on to it for years, it is one of the best investments you can do. Also, when rates go down, you can refinance for a better rate. So you're not always going to be locked in with this current rate that you have. Okay, and that was the monthly market update in April for San Jose. If you wanted a more customized search, maybe for your neighborhood, I can do that for you as well and set you up automatically to get emailed, or you can just stay tuned for the, the videos I'll put out every month. Thanks for watching. And please like and subscribe so you can get more content like this that will be helpful for you to make your decision here in the Silicon Valley area. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.